Hello, I'm Kat from Camp and today I'm going to show you how to make your own marbled paper. And the best thing is it's really easy and simple and you, the only things you need hopefully you already have in your kitchen cupboard. Um, so you just need a shallow dish and um, doesn't have to be that deep, it just kind of has to be able to fit the paper that you want in. Um, and then you need some water to fill it with and um, you need food colouring so you can choose as many colours as you'd like. I have blue, pink and yellow um, and then you need some cooking oil, any kind of cooking oil. I've got sunflower oil um, and then you need however many colours you have. You need a separate container for each one so you can just use cups, paper cups, anything like that, bowls um, and then you need a different spoon for each one and some paper. And that's it. So I've chosen paper that's, it's just the thickest paper I've got. Any paper will work, but I think the kind of thicker you have, the better. Okay, so you're going to want to fill your dish with water. You don't need too much water. You literally just need it to fill the bottom of the dish. Okay. A bit more. Okay, perfect. Then what you're going to do is you're going to mix three teaspoons of oil with one teaspoon of food colouring. Okay, so I'm going to put, go ahead and put three teaspoons of oil into each of my containers. And when you've put your oil in, you then want to put one teaspoon of colour, of food colouring, into each one. Um, if you're doing it a bit rough, like rough measurements, you basically just want to have more oil than you have of your food colouring. So I'm just going to put a teaspoon of blue into this one. A teaspoon of pink in here, and then I'll put a teaspoon of yellow in the last one. Okay, there we go. I somehow managed to get really oily fingers. I haven't got any paper towels or anything. Oh, I've made such a mess. <laughs> okay, and then, so the trick here is you want to mix up the oil and the food colouring. Um, and when I've been practicing doing this, it basically, the more you mix it, the better your paper will turn out. So really you want to mix really, a lot so that it all gels together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of my colours. Okay. So when they're really well mixed together, you want to take your spoon and just drop some of this onto your tray and dot it around however you like. Ooh. And then you can use as many colours as you want for this. So I'm, for this one, I'm going to use all three of my colours. I found the yellow colour seems to work the best in this. And I'm just going to, you can swirl it around a bit in your water. Okay, and then you want to take your paper. And I think what I'm going to do with mine is fold it in half so that I can use it to send as cards to family and friends that I haven't been able to see. So I'm going to fold it before I put it in the water. And then for this one, I'm going to just try and dip the front of the card. So you literally just place your bit of paper into your water and you can leave it there for a few seconds. It doesn't matter if water gets on top of the paper. You can already see the 
colors coming through. And then you just pick it out when you think it's done. And there you go. Ta-da! And then you just leave it out to dry. Like so. But yeah, that one's quite a yellow one. So I think I'm gonna, for my next one, put more pink and blue in. So I'm just gonna give them another quick mix to make sure they're really mixed with the oil. Okay. I'm just gonna, to be honest, I just, on my last one, I'm just gonna pour, pour the rest of it in. There we go. More color, the better. Okay. Blue. Just give it another mix. Okay, I think there was enough yellow, so I'll just do the blue and pink. And I'm just gonna swirl it around a little bit. And then this paper, I'm just gonna place the whole of this in. So I'll do it this way. Ooh. I'm gonna leave this one in a bit longer. Really dunk this one in. Wait for a few seconds. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick it out. I'll do it this way so you can see it first. Ooh. Yay, oh my gosh, that looks good. That might be my favorite one I've done so far. Ooh. Okay, and then you just leave it to dry. And there you have it. So you can make, you can put as many colours in, you can make so many different ones. They all look, it's great because they look different every time you do it. Um, and then you can use this paper for anything. You can send cards like I'm going to do through the post, or you can use it as artwork on your walls, or you can make, use the paper and make it into other crafts. So it's good. Let me know how you guys get on. I'd love to see what you create. Um, and yeah. Happy camping. So if you can hear all the noise in the background, it's really, I'm in England at the moment and it is really pouring down with rain as, as usual. So have a lovely day. Bye.